You have to remember, every fake is the same as a block. Okay? This is the hardest thing to get through kids. Okay? If this guy looks like he's got the ball, and this guy then runs over here, that's one less guy we have to block. Okay? So if this guy sells it, this guy sells it, this linebacker steps thinking that he's got the ball, this guy goes here. Once this guy gets through the line of scrimmage, he's gone. There's nobody else there. And it's not because the line did a great job of blocking, it's because of his sellout fake and the quarterback's sellout fake. All right? So that is the importance that you guys have to sell these fakes. Okay? You gotta show as if you got the ball. All right? And what this does then is it leads into when if you are a fullback, tailback, wingback, quarterback, when it's your turn to have the ball, your play is going to hit, okay? Because they're going to start not having a clue where the ball is. Fullback sold the fake. He's rubbing shoulders with the quarterback, okay? We want to make it look like you got the ball. Remember, we're it's almost like it's almost like we're playing hide and seek with this. We don't want the other team to see it. So when the quarterback takes that snap, he's doing this. You see where the ball is? See how my back is? The defense can't see it, right? Yeah. Then that fullback gives the fake. He comes here, I'm gonna give you the ball. Notice that my back is still to the defense. Doesn't see the ball, they can't see it. You get the ball, come over here. So you get the ball here, then I'm like this, boom. Okay, you got the ball now, but you're turned here. I'm like this. Defense still can't see the ball. They can, he, he's got it, but I'm still acting like I got it, okay? You faked, I faked, you got it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try the next play then. All right. So again, the counter crisscross, all right? And if you look now, guys, look. Fullback, or the tailback, fullback, wingback, okay? Now, I had one year, guys, when I was coaching that each one of these players rush for over a thousand yards. That's incredible. <laughs> okay, so when they want to sell out for each other, it's crazy what could happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if this guy right here, the tailback is only worried about his stats and he wants the ball and he only wants the ball and he doesn't really care. So when, when it's not given to him, he kind of lackadaisically goes like this and turns around and watches and he does that stuff. He doesn't help the fullback. And then what happens is teams just key on, on him. So I played a number of games where we would come into the game and let's say this guy had 150 yards rushing. And let's say we're playing Delta. Delta scouted us. They want to stop this guy. So they're doing everything to watch him. Well then guess what? This guy goes off. And he has a great game. And this guy knows he sold out the whole time and helped this guy shine. Okay, so now the next week we play, what's on tape? This guy did great, right? So we can go back to this guy if we have to. All right? So again, like I said, we've had, uh, I had, in fact, I had one year, guys, when we won our section championship, we lost our starting fullback to grades right before the league championship game. What was that again? You lost him to what? To grades. To grades. Yeah, he was he was ineligible. Yeah. So he didn't get uh, he didn't get a chance to play for the league championship. Mm -hmm. So he was eliminated from all. He doesn't have a banner. He doesn't have a ring. He doesn't have any of that stuff. He was there for the first nine games, and then he's gone. Okay. You have a question? No. Okay. So, but what I did was I had two sophomores that got a lot of playing time throughout the year. And because we had such a good team, got such a good group of guys that sold out for each other, the two sophomores took over and we won a section championship. Okay, we didn't need him. He had, he going in the last game, he would have got over a thousand yards. He had 940 something yards rushing at that point. Okay, and the two sophomores came in and took over and the rest is history.